Right guys, welcome back to a new video. This one is going to be an absolute banger. We're here in rural Surin, Thailand, and we're heading towards the Hong Tong Loop. But first, we need to visit Pechibu, Kong Ken, Pitana Loop, Tsukatai, Lampang, Lampu, Chiang Mai. We're going to do the Myong Song Loop, and then we're going to go to the Chiang Dao Mountains, or in the interceptor. An absolute beast. First stop, Kong Ken. So let's go. Kent's about four hours away, four hours 30. Uh, by the sat now, we've got to go through Buriram, back into a little bit of Seren, up to Konkan. Uh, I visited Konkan last year on the motorbike journey, and uh, I'm sure it's got Thailand's biggest gong. So, if we can find it again, I'm going to show you. But uh, we're going to visit a friend of mine that actually saved my motorbike trip last year with the Whistler, and I've got to come up here and say thank you at least. Um, like, like see, the round is just rural, you know, flick around, check it out. Just like a little rural sleepy villages. Um, it's lovely green and lushy. I know I keep banging on in every, every video, but it's surprising the difference between province to province. Because in Serene it's all dry and dusty, and here it's all lovely dry and lush. Well that's my garbage. And I'll stick a bit of riding footage in, and let's go to Concan. If there's anything of point of interest on the route, I'll stop and show you. But uh, this is just the first province of the list. Uh, because we are going, the, the final destination is Chiang Dao Mountain in Chiang Mai. So we're going to visit uh, uh, Kong Ken. Then we're going to drive through the, the, the National Park to Petra Boom and visit some, fucking, some of the best uh, uh, temples in Thailand. And it is the number one UFO spot. There's more UFO sightings in Petrobu than anywhere else in, in Thailand. So that's going to be a good check out. Uh, then after we're going to go to Sukhothai, which is the, the first capital of Thailand. This is where Thailand actually originated from. The first basically civilised city of, of Thailand, Sukhothai. We're going to visit there. And then we're going to go to... Uh, well, we're going to go to... Petra Boom, then we're going to go to Patanaluk, and I'm going to take you to the Neon District, which is like crabby, all limestone mountain, mountains, if you check back of the videos, Patanaluk, I'm going to take the maiden in the same place there, I'm not sure about camping, or we're going to get a, a, a little little bungalow or whatever, but we're going to see when I get there, because we're just winging this trip, so I won't know where we're going for day to day, so I'm just going to follow along. And uh, after there, we're going to go, like I say, to Sukhothai, Thailand's first capital. Uh, we're going to spend the night in there, and then we're going to head up towards uh, Lampang. Uh, sorry, Lampoon. Uh, an absolute beautiful little town, well, actually one of my favourite little towns in northern Thailand. And then we're going to go to Lampang uh, and go to the Sky Temple. Because last time we failed, didn't we? We did an 80 kilometre trip there from, like, from Lampang to the Sky Temple, and it's bloody closed. So this time, I promise you, I'm going to take you there. So that is on the, on the list. And then we're going to head, head toward Chiang Mai. We're going to spend, spend two or three days in Chiang Mai. Uh, we're going to meet up with the artists. So we're going to show around their, their farm there. They grow like uh, vegetables and all that kind of malarkey there. And then after Chiang Mai, we're going to go to Dui Intanon National Park. Uh, we're going to stay in Mom Jam. And then we're going to do the Mi Hong Song Loop. We're going to stay in Mei Sarang. We're going to stay in Mi Hong Song, and then we're going to visit uh, the Chinese village, uh, Bang Rak Thai, and then after we're going to go to Pai, 
Here, see what's happening in Pike. Last time I went there, it was like an absolute tourist trap. He's a bloody disgrace, man. We'll see if he's got anybody. And then after Chiang Mai, after Pai, we're going to drive back into Chiang Mai City. And then we're going to head toward Chiang Rai and to Chiang Dao Mountains. And we're going to check out there. And then we're going to ride back. Well, a different way, probably through Nan, Prey, Pai Ao, Utri Adet. Um, back to... Um, Buri Ram, then back to Seren. But you're going to bear with me on the way back, because I haven't even planned that for you. Your main goal is head towards Kong Ken today and just head towards the Mihong Song loop. We've done a loop, I think it's two, twice on this on the channel. Or it might even be three times. Uh, we did the, the, the Mihong Song loop uh, twice clockwise and twice anti-clockwise on the motorbike. Because uh, if you knew here, uh, last year we did a 54 province trip and we covered over 14,000 kilometers. And we did the Mihong Song loop on the motorbike. Well, this time we bring the uh, Interceptor. I hear the Chevy Colorado turbo diesel, absolute beast. And uh, we're going to take you with us. So, let's, let's my garbage and let's check out the road to Conquer. <laughs> We just stopped. Um, we meet my friend in Konkan, and if you can remember, on the on the motorbike journey, um, when we went to um, Wahin, and the suspension snapped on the motorbike, and we thought the trip is over. These are the people that actually called the garage around for the garage and actually saved the trip. So uh, the least we could do was get him a get him a gift. So uh, I'm here at Lotuses, just outside, about 80 kilometres outside Konkan. So we're going to see if we can get him a bottle of wine or something. So uh, let's go inside, let's check out the wine selection, if you have any. We'll have a lot of Luke's Roonies. Right, well we found the wine aisle, check it out. I don't recognise any bottles whatsoever. So the power of observation, I'm going to go off the price. They were good to me so I can't skin flint on it. I need to get them a decent bottle. So I'll check back in. Right, we've gone for the red fruit wine, hints of pineapple and some other crap in there. That's what we've got to go with. Right, so now we need something to make the bottle look good. Because basically you saved the save me trip. So I wanted to put a nice little bow over the top or something. But this is Lotus's. Uh, I've just come out just come out of Lotus's. You know they've got a grammar mistake in there, but I won't point that out. Uh, Konken is about 60 kilometers away. And where we stay, we are staying in the Romantic Hotel Konken. And I'll tell you what, it is absolutely lovely there. I stayed there last year. Last year I paid 1,500 baht a night. And for tonight I paid 800 baht. I'll show you the room, it's bloody lovely. On this trip through these provinces, I will show you the hotels and I'll show you the costing of the hotels. Normally, I just skip the hotels and just drive around and ride around and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to make an effort for you this time. So anyway, onwards to Konken. Right, it's first province, welcome. To Concan. All right, we've made it. Let's just find the hotel and let's have a little meet around Concan City. Let's get this uh, trip on the road. And after four and a half hours driving, we're here. The romantic 
Kong Ken Hotel. Your right. destination is on the right. All right, let's see what's happening. Right, we made it to Concan after four hours driving through some really treacherous roads and we made it to the romantic Concan Hotel. Come check out the room. This is just a double room. But as you can see, high quality and it's absolutely spotless. The TV unit, the big TV. We've got the large bed. We've got the maiden smiling as usual, and we've got the mini kitchen, like a little studio. Last time I stayed here, it was 1,500 baht. This time it was 800 baht. What a bargain. So if you're in Kong Ken, this hotel is highly recommended. Right, we're going to chill out for a bit, and then we're going to go show you around Kong Ken. we go go on a bit, bit of a mooch. Well, let's check out what's happening outside. On the pickle, he said it was 45 degrees, and I'll tell you what, I believe every single degree of it because it's absolutely bloody scorching. Well, this is Concan, the first stop, the first of many. This is the first day of the road trip, so welcome to Concan. This has got to be the most impressive temple in Konkan. For me personally, it's like got a little unique character. But I can't remember what it was, it was a couple of videos back. And there was another temple that had nine floors in it. And so there's only two temples I've ever seen like this, with this design. Out of, I'll just zoom out a bit. I've visited over 300 temples, at least 300 temples around Thailand. And this is one of the most unique ones. This is one of the early ones with the nine stories. We've checked out the video a few videos back. I've, we went up the top up there. Uh, last year we went, we, we went with the Whistler. And I tell you what, I was absolutely sweating cobbles by the time I got to the top of it. It's absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get the maiden and let's have a little moochie. As you can see, we're next to water. As the maiden pointed out. That's the Naga for the water. Some useless information what we don't need to know. We'll check out how beautiful the golden gilding is. Absolutely, bloody lovely. Ah, that's a little mix inside. Check out the ceilings. Look how detailed the painting is. Absolutely lovely. Ah, big old temples. I know this is really important to people, so they don't like to crouch on anybody. But check out the gold statue in the middle. Absolutely lovely. Check out the hand painted ceilings of the Golden Guild. Just as impressive. Right, let's see what the maiden thinks. If you check out on the walls all the way around, you can pick stories. I know she saw these last time. Right, so let's see what trinkets you want to, what you want to do, maiden. You're looking first, and that's every single temple we get there, the maiden has to do something. It's either the gold leaf, 
for the flowers or like for the joss it's also. So she's just gonna have a look around for it and see what's on the is. Check out our impressive vase. All handcrafted. Blows my mind. And check out the images on the outside. For me, personally. The construction of the temples are just as good as the religious like meaning because uh, i'm not buddhist you know uh, it's a little bit hard for me to understand because there's that many that many levels and that many different things in buddhism but i just, i appreciate the, the temples that work in construction and i understand how hard and how long it must have taken them for actually build something so amazing and there's one thing where I can say for the people from Kong Kang, they are some of the friendliest in Thailand. The people from the hotel, the rom romantic hotel Kong Kang, are some of the friendliest people I've ever met. So if you're in, if you're in Kong Kang, stay in that hotel and tell them the big man goes me. They'll appreciate every last one of your visits because they're absolutely stand-up people. I can walk around all this stuff all day. Look, they didn't seem like painted down to the ground. Uh, we're going to visit uh, one more temple after this one. And uh, we're going to go out tonight with the whistler just to thank you. But just check out things like this, you know, just like the detail. And all the hand carved doors and everything. Absolutely, bloody man. You can see the maiden's brain down there. So I'll let the main carry on with what she wanna do. I'll have to check out some amazing craftsmanship. That's what it's all about. It's like even the outbuildings, you know, all gold painted, all gold painted, gold painted Nargus. I just look at the detail over the doorways and just look at the detailed carving, the stories depicted on the doors. All these doors were hand carved. And people just walk past these. Uh, I think this is one of the one of the temples where I've seen it's got the most gold what's been painted, the most gold. I know you've got one like Deutsche Tap and places like that. But in Isa, this has got to be one of the most goldy temples. And I love the contrast between the gold and the red. It just makes the gold pop even more. Absolutely lovely. All right, I've checked out these beautiful bowls here. If you have a look on these bowls here, they've got people's names on there. So what this makes the thing is, if you put the, you put the, put the bowl there, it means it gives good luck and fortune. So we've got two bowls here now. Let me have a look what we've got Maiden. We've got two beautiful bowls. We've got one silver one and one gold one. Let's write his name down and let's see if we get some good luck. Right, me first. Have I got the gold bowl and you got the silver bowl? Or do you want me to have the silver one? You have the gold one. You're more important than me. Right. I'll just write my name. You write your name on there, then we're gonna have got some good luck. Right. What the maiden write here name and I'll write mine. Like got my name written on there. If you don't know what my name is, it's not the big mango. My name is Bailey. For all you people out there. Right. Have you done yours, Maiden? Right, let's uh, hang these up with these other little balls. And hopefully, we're either going to win the lottery or we're going to have some kind of good luck. Cheers. Right, let's hang these up and get some good luck. Right. Maiden, which one are we going to put it on? Because that one's got oh, the one with the least on, right? This one must be the, the new lucky one. Right. 
as you can see, uh, everybody's names written down. There's my name there, Bailey. Ah, it's not the, the maiden that's called. Okay, are we going to put ours together, sweetie? Yes. Right, you, you, put, you put them together, then. Let me put them together. Here. That's it. And there's ours together. Mango and the maiden. But let me just have a look at some of these other people. I don't want to encroach on everybody's privacy. But I want to see if there's any other English names on here. As far as I can tell. Mine's the English name. I'm the maiden who's going to take a photo put it on Facebook. Because maybe loves a bit of Facebook and a bit of TikTok. They're absolutely beautiful. One of the most beautiful temples I've visited, but does something similar. But you write your name like on a silver on a silver leaf. There's the White Temple in Chiang Mai. There's an area where you can walk through there and they're hanging on the ceiling and it's absolutely mind blowing how many people have actually been there and done. But this temple is absolutely beautiful. The craftsmanship just blows my mind. There's nothing like this in England. Everyone's too lazy. You would have just used emulsion or wood chip wallpaper. Now let's see what little trinkets we've got. Oh, look at that. Ah, so I think we need something. Here's like little buddy, little trinkets. And only buy something for the car key. Um, we got um, a little red bangle with some beads on. And you got it from Sisaka. So I think on this trip, I'm going to buy a couple and have a lot of collection. But uh, let's see what the main mouse wants to do. What do you want to do now, maiden? What do you want to lick it? Okay. You want to walk around outside? Okay, we're going outside, we're going to brave the heat. Right, little pit stop, a little bit of a snack. The maiden found a noodle bar, as you know. We do, we've got a noodle shop in Sudan, so we're going to check out the competitors. But here, that's where we're eating here, literally. The big lake's there. Ah, right, let's, let's check out, see if it's any good. Yeah, I've set here, perfect. I've set here. Right, I said I'm going for noodles about two seconds ago. I've already bottled out and I've already cowed my guy, one of my favourite dishes. Well, check out the maidens. The maidens have beef noodles. Check out what she's got. We've got the beautiful slices of beef, medium rare, and we've got the beef meatballs. And we've got some extra beef meatballs and we've got the sour spicy dip and the condiments we've got the sour sauce we've got the pepper we've got the salt we've got the sugar and we've got the chilli the maiden like literally bangs chilli on absolute everything what she needs here's the calming guy oh she's got ah, so let's check it out even I know that is common guy. And that is me little broth. Absolutely delicious. Alright, I'm gonna have this little bit of a munch and I'm gonna let you know how good it is. Right. I'm just tucking into your calming guy now. Calm and gas is a really simple dish. All it is is rice and boiled chicken. But what's special about it is the sauce. The sauce just makes it everything. Check it out. I say it's just a simple rice with chicken. But the sauce is what makes it 
enticing. Everybody makes like really simple dishes. But the sauce is what they make. It just makes the dish completely. As soon as you can master how to make a Thai sauce, you can master how to make anything. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm just thinking to enjoy this. Just thought just let into that one bit of knowledge. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. It's really, really cheap as well. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll give it the beard at the end. What do you think your noodles made? Because we all know Maiden runs a village kitchen. <laughs> the best noodle shop in the village. So what do you think of the beef noodles? Saroy. Why is he Saroy? Have they got good soup? Yeah. Because like the noodles, it's all about the soup. If you can get a tasty but light soup that's clean and not greasy, the noodles have high quality noodles like we do for the size of cat and have fresh greens because we cut our greens out of the garden ours are fresh every day we do it about two three times a day just to make sure our greens are fresh so what do you think maybe what, what, what do you think of the noodles does he pass Aroy. Aroy. that's it it's a pass so that's absolute bonus because the maiden is the queen of the noodles i'm going to stop talking crap and I'm just going to enjoy my lunch and we're going to get into the next temple so let's get back on the road <laughs> Right, this is where we just come here let me show you as you walk right, driving around the lake here I'm not sure it's called but it's in Thai but there it's absolutely lovely a little bit on the expensive side, it's 200 baht, but absolutely delicious. Alright, on to the next temple. Literally, the temple is just around the other side of the lake over there. About a couple of minutes away. Alright, jump in the intercept here, let's get out of here. As you can see, she's looking good. Probably get clean it yesterday because we had all chalk and everything over it from. From Songkran, but we're ready. Right, let's head towards the beautiful temple. I'm just assuming it's right. Onwards to the next temple. Let's see if we can get out there without crashing. Sure where this next temple is because uh, I'm making the video instead of looking at the map. But he's sticking out like a sore thumb, he's there just on his, on, on his right, it's not too far away. But this, this this temple stands out more than the other temple. If you can see the back part here, it's got an absolute massive cherry. but I'm sure we can find it. But here, we have made it to the beautiful temple. This one's saying about tyre drivers. This is an entrance, not an exit. As you're coming out the wrong way. Right, this looks like a beautiful temple, so let's go have a little look see. Hey, this one's got a giant cherry at the back. Let's have a look there. 
This one's got a big cherry. So a bit of internet magic. Let's get in there. This temple is an absolute monster. I've seen, I've seen quite a few temples with this like similar design on it. But this has got to be the tallest one I've seen. Look how impressive that is. He doesn't really stand out, but it's got to be at least 50 meters tall. At least. Over there, the maiden mark there. Your maiden, why are they pushing that around there? Huh? Why are they pushing that thing there? Uh, I'm not sure why, but they've got the monks and some other gentlemen pushing, pushing like a chariot around, around the temple. I'm not sure if they're just putting it in position or maybe some kind of ceremony they're doing. I'm not really that much knowledgeable. Uh, like the maiden says, the, the way that the, the, the temples work in Sudan are a little bit different than other parts of Thailand, maybe because they can make it. Well, if you ask me, that temple, an absolute beaut. I don't know how tall it is, but it's got to be nine or ten stories high. At least, at least here at one point, they're making the sandcastles. Must have been a bit a while ago. Look, this is the copy of, the, of that temple where we've just been. That's a copy of the temple. Well, let's try and get in and have, and have a good temple mooch. Right, let's follow the maiden, because she's the, the Buddhist professional. Uh, I would like to have a look inside the temple there, but I don't want to disturb these monks, whatever these monks are doing. Oh, they're pushing it down there now. Right, let them do a bit further down there, and we'll check out the cherry. Take your shoes off. Let's have a little look at the cherry in Con Can. Whoa. As cherries go, this is absolutely beautiful. I think a cherry. Anywhere where there's a cherry, he's actually got a body artifact inside. So there's a piece of the body inside there. I'm not sure what it is, which is what I've been told. Uh, when I start pumping out these, like, kind of fat kind of things, what someone else has told me, like what I've learned before, if I'm a little bit mistaken, those comments just correct me, because I'm all up for learning new things. But you can see here, just the detail of mind blowing. And if you look, here's the balls, the same balls what they made me and the maiden are just filled in. Alright. Let's see what the maiden's doing. What are you doing this time, maiden? Are you doing the, the, the jock sticks? Go inside. Oh, okay. We're going to go inside the cherry. Uh, the maiden's got the sticks and the candle this time. The last time she did the gold leaf and something else. But well, the maiden is the professional, so we follow the maiden. Ding, ding. Beautiful 
Wow. And that is absolutely lovely. I've just spotted something down here. Let me show, show you these borders. I don't how much detail has been into it. I'll get, I'll get my shoes later. Look here, a piece of wood. The maiden told me earlier, the word can't mean a small piece of wood and can is the actual wood. Is that correct, Maiden? What you told me earlier? Yeah. Con can. can. Con is, can. is the small wood. Mm. And con and can. Can. Is, is, can is the wood. Is the type of wood. So con can is translated as in small wood. And a little bit of knowledge for you. But this is what I want to show you. Just how beautiful that is. Isn't it? Every single bit intricately designed, and they got borders completely surrounded all four sides of the areas because how sacred this cherry is. <laughs> and that's the maiden. Okay, sweetie. Uh, the sweet, the, the, the maid has just asked me if I want to give it to Gong, but I'll, I'll bit too heavy handed. I'll let the maiden do all the, all the, all the sacred work. I'll just enjoy soaking in the atmosphere. Every part of the temple is just beautiful, you know? I can see something here. Because, as you know, there's seven different Buddhas, all in different poses. There's a Buddha that's sitting down. There's a Buddha that's standing up. There's a Buddha with his hands on his lap. There's a Buddha holding the bottle. There's a Buddha with one hand up. And this is the reclining Buddha. And each one of these Buddhas here represents a day of the week. Like I was born on Tuesday, and my buddy is the reclining buddy. So because I was born on a Tuesday, this is my buddy. And the shape of the temple dictates the month of the year. So there's some temples around that have got the reclining buddy. And the shape of the temple is in April, which depicts my birthday, which is my super temple. What you need to do a pilgrim to at least once that once in your lifetime. That's just a bit more knowledge what someone's picked up. But look how beautiful it is here. Alright. Right, let's see if we can sneak into this big big temple. Alright. The maiden's doing something else. I'll never look how they see it. You have chopsticks, good numbers on them. And you shake the chop, you, sh you shake the thing until one chopstick falls out, and the chopstick will have a number on it there, near, 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 near the top there, number. Huh? Number two, man. Yeah, number two. <laughs> oh, there isn't any in there. But anyway, in that little hatch there, number two, that would have told you your future. But unfortunately, there's no number two. Uh, we did one a couple of times, uh, we did one at um, the cave temple next to the Death Railway in Canton of Uri. And we did one at Ayutthaya. Go watch some videos, we did a couple of videos back. Alright, so let me just put my shoes on and let's have a check out of the other temple. Look how light it is. And actually, by looking at it, this one's actually a quite rare one. Because it isn't very often that you see actual white and gold. I think I've seen two temples like that in the entire of Thailand with the white and the gold. But let's see if we can sneak in there. Let's check out the beautiful temple. Let's see if we can get in there. 
Let's go, Maiden. Let's go in there. This one's fascinating. Because you can see the walls are lined with gold and red gilt and the hand carved doors and the hand carved place. But the ceiling, the ceiling's just white. Wow. I've seen some impressive things in my time, but this has got me one of the. I think this makes up for the ceiling. Whoa. This will be hand done with golden leaf. Depicting the story of the area. Or well, the beginnings of Conken itself. But this is the, the first. This is the first temple. I've ever seen with a white seal. I know, it's like not actually struggling through the others, but it's just as impressive because why would they not do the ceiling? And against the, the gold and the red, absolutely mind blowing. Ah, right, the maiden's doing a thing. When the shutters are blank, and on this side, unless it's a temple, what they're currently renovating or adding on to this time, because I can see that the set of doors in here. Behind there, there's a set of doors about ten, about ten or twelve foot tall, all carved, actually intricately, and actually. There's a thing here that I want to show you. Whoa, that's what it's going to look like after. It must be just part way through. Look how beautiful that's going to look. That's what they've got there at the moment. Then it goes into the, into the ceiling and the blue in the sky. That's what they must be working on here now. To paint that, turn that into the sky. Absolutely beautiful. Alright. Save this on our list. Because in two years' time or three years' time, we will come back here just to look at the ceiling and I'll bring it back with me. So let's get out of here. But that is absolutely beautiful. Let me get my shoes on and let's get out of here. Nice, we're near the markets, just next to the temple. You can actually see the temple from here. Look over yonder. There's the temple. Street food. And this is why I weigh about 18 stone. But it doesn't matter where you look, the food is absolutely delicious. Let's check out some food and maybe check out some snacks for later. Let's have a little look, see what we got. <laughs> nah, some of your favourite tea, fried planet. Yeah. As you know, I'm a sucker for fried tilapia. Uh, do it at least once every couple of weeks or, or at least once a week. We've got the bugs. Got the, there's the uh, jackfruit seed. Nah. Let's have a look at the selection. 
uh, tonight. We're going out with the Whistler. Say thank you for helping me. Actually, if it wasn't for the Whistler, I would not have completed the bike journey last year. The Whistler was an absolute angel. So now when I went on Ken, I bought a bottle of wine earlier. Much appreciated that. And uh, tonight I'm going to take you for a meal and I'm going to take you with us. Uh, we're really here for tonight because tomorrow we're going to head to Petra Boom. But uh, let's have a look at some munchies and let's see if we get some snacks. I'm going to have one of these here, sweetie. In case you've got change. Right, the only one always brings small change. You've always got large now, so you're struggling with change. Has the lady got any change or can you pay with you? Depending on the, uh, with your QR code. Planning. Planning. Oh, oh, hello. 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 Oh, you just put it out, it's like that stinky fish sauce. Gonna get it wrong, it tastes nice, but that's with pongs. But look how delicious these are, are you? Ready to go, meals. 40 baht. 40 baht is less than one pound. Look, look how delicious they are. That's gonna be my little snack for later. Because <laughs> gonna have tonight's only made and gonna get mouth. Uh, we're going somewhere, actually the thingy's taking us, uh, the whistler's taking us somewhere, somewhere where she recommends, she lives around here, so uh, we're going to go for it, just to say a big thank you, you know, um, she saved me the first time, she saved me twice actually, when I drove from, when I drove from Patanalu, if you watch the, the, the Patanalu video, uh, the chain of Sprocket were going on the bike and he was making a right grinding noise, and I googled the closest Benali main dealer, and the black banali main dealer was in Petra Boom. So I drove 200 kilometers with a bike, the chain ready exploded off the cogs. And we got there and it was closed. It was the Amaral garage. So then uh, I messaged the whistler because the whistler was in the, in, in the nearest province, the nearest person they knew. And she already set it up with the main dealer and that. So I just rode straight in there, chain and sprocket done the same day. And then I spent a couple of days here, then we were out of here. And then the second time she saved us, when we were driving from, uh, I think we were driving from somewhere south, um, Ratchet de Bury, and we're heading south towards Paquette, um, going from Ratchet de Bury to Wahin, the, the back shock had snapped and off, and the whistle saved me again. I, I was trying to find a main dealer's the one time, he was trying to find a big bike guy, he's not, he couldn't see repair it. And basically, yeah, she saved me bacon, she got a mechanic there within the hour, picked it up, so she deserves a meal. So anyway, that's my jibber jabber. Let's get back in the pickle, and let's get ready for tonight's debauchery. No, <laughs> I can't say that. Right, we're here. Right, we met the Whistler. The absolute saviour. And we're here. And Con can. Right, let's go inside. We're going to get the air con. See what tonight's delights are. She's a chef, so she must know the stuff. The Whistler's brought us restaurant, she said it's his first <laughs> class and she was one of the best chefs I know anyway. And uh, she was the saviour of the motorbike trip. <laughs> the Whistler, absolute saviour. So we had to come conquer and I had to say thank you because it would have been a disaster without it. Anyway, let's check out the menu and let's see what's happening. Right, I don't know what ordered, it looks absolutely delicious. A bit like Tom Yam. Mm. 
it smells absolutely beautiful. I think this restaurant's called the Wander. It well, looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure what we got on the menu, it's all inside, but I'll bring it down to the waist though, because she's really good chef. She knows what she's getting. So I'm going to talk it and let's enjoy. Look how tasty it looks, that's just saucy. Wait till the beautiful fish comes out. <laughs> and what are you laughing for, mate? <laughs> Flats of cotton socks. I, I, I asked her this time if she can help make the video. Not just shy. And I don't know what we've ordered here, but it looks absolutely delicious. Check out the Whistler with it, with, 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 with the big delight. We've got some tap. It looks like we've got a sink sauce. We've got some sweet corn salad, I like. Check out that for a plan in, aka tilapia. If you watch some of the village videos of the village kitchen, we cook these at home. But this one is an absolute monster, and this food looks absolutely delicious. I always like the corn and salty crabs, uh, salted egg salad. The sometime with the stinky sauce, and uh, and we got 10 million sauces. So I'm going to stop, stop talking crap, and I'm going to talk in and tell you your, your final thoughts right at the end of it. So I'll see you in about two seconds, after lunch all this. Now I've just come out of that restaurant and it was absolutely delicious, it was nearly 900 baht. Now it's time for some beers, so I'm going to leave this video here, and I'm going to catch up with you in the morning. So thanks for joining us. Peace.